Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today's video is one of my favorites. It's like an anti-trend de-influencing list and I love doing it because it kind of really complements doing a trends that I love video, which I did last weekend. I see so many trends on TikTok, on YouTube and stuff and I really like deciding that a trend is not for me and like being really purposeful about it. Even if it's just like, I can't explain why. Sometimes I'll just see a trend and I'll just be like, no, that doesn't work for me. And I think that's so important, being able to recognize when other people are doing something and it would be really easy to follow along, but you shouldn't and why. So I think it's, it's a really good message to spread. And also I really love dissing on trends. It's just, it may, maybe gives me a superiority complex, but I just, it's interesting to me. And you guys have liked these in the past. So we're gonna do one today for spring summer trends. First one, let's get the most obvious out the way. There we go, that's better. Leopard print. I spoke about how I didn't like this in last week's video. Um, it's just not for me. I saw it and I immediately didn't like it. So I'm just gonna trust my instincts on this one. I've had like printed clothing before in the past and maybe it's okay for a first couple of wears, but every time I sort of just dislike it after a little bit, I never really gravitate towards it in my wardrobe unless I'm trying to be really intentional about wearing stuff. And I think it's just one of those ones that look cute on other people, maybe like really fashionable girlies, but I don't see myself as that yet. I'm trying towards it, but there's just, I just don't really like it. I don't think it's very wearable for me and what I have in my wardrobe. That's it. But there's some really cute options. There's a really cute damson matter jeans, which are everywhere on TikTok right now. Um, so yeah, if you like it, there's a lot of options. There's some sustainable options definitely thrift this one because leopard print has been around for ages so you don't need to buy anything new or buy something from a small business or whatever but yeah next one kind of on the same vein in terms of how popular it's been recently but it's those like lace white skirt it's just one again that's for like it's too cool for me i'm and i just think it's really not wearable every day in terms of what i have in my wardrobe and what i would style it with um it's just not my vibe. It's a bit too grandma-ish for me and I just feel like it's like an Instagram trend. Do you know what I mean? Like if you saw someone out wearing that, maybe I would think it's cute because I've seen it on TikTok, but if I hadn't seen it on TikTok and I saw someone wearing that, I just don't think it would be like, I don't think I would love it. So I'm just trying to stick to that, I guess. I'm trying to stick to my instincts and what I immediately dislike or love. I'm trying to listen to that more in my head. So that's gonna be the explanation for a lot of these trends. So just bear with me. Actually, while we're on this lace skirt, these like balloon skirts or bubble skirts, I think they're called, where they kind of like come out like a balloon. <laughs> and then come in at the knee and they're like hitting knee or like hitting like midi. Dislike them, I really don't like them. Um, I just don't think they're cute like at all in any context, personally. Um, I know the first couple of trends I've mentioned, I've said they're cool on other people. I don't think this is cool on anyone, I'm sorry. I'm not even sure like Zendaya could get away with it. Next is clogs. And these were trending like really recently, like I wanna say like two summers ago, three summers ago. So the trends come back around really fast or maybe it just didn't go. And people are trying to wear the things they bought like in years recently again. And I love that. But clogs for me are just really impractical and I don't like them. I, can't, I kind of group them in with Uggs in like, they're really like casual, cool girl. And it's just like a bit overdone and a bit, I just don't think they're cool, but people are trying so hard to make them cool and it just doesn't work for me. And I think this applies also to like closed toe clogs and open toe clogs. I know I definitely like closed toe more. So like if I had to shop this trend, I would shop it in closed, but the open toe just really doesn't work for me. I think they're really awkward. Okay, pinstripe shirts. I've seen these on like every these are the spring trends that are happening now like tiktok i don't know why that was an american accent we'll move on um but yeah basically everyone's talking about them still i've gone down a bit of a rabbit hole with trends yesterday so like everything's on top of my mind 
but this trend is just too corporate for me and like my lifestyle I mean I'm at home most of the day like filming editing doing like other little bits and bobs why am I wearing a pinstripe shirt like I just it's too dressy it and I feel like it's cute on some girls but I feel like I would wear it and just feel too dressy for every day but not dressy enough like no like there's just no situation in my life where I feel like this fits so the pinstripe is a no but I do like the Oxford shirt in general and I've seen like this butter yellow one that's really cute and oversized and I think this might be the winner for me like instead of the pinstripe vibe I just think a plain one is just so classic you can get away with it every year versus like pinstripes are trending this spring but they're not going to be trending next spring and it's just like obviously they're a classic but do you know what I mean like Oxfords are a classic classic like plain is always gonna beat for me when it comes to a pattern that I'm not sure about. Like I said in my last video, I'm not really feeling well. So if this is coming off a bit jumbled, I apologize, but I'm just trying to get through it and then go back to bed. So yeah, bear with me. <laughs> Adidas pants and tracksuits and like the shorts. No, don't, don't like them. Like I just feel, again, it's a cool vibe and maybe with like a vest top, sure. Some girls can definitely pull that off, but I'd feel like an imposter if I was wearing this. I'd, this is not my style at all. And I feel like I would be really just trying to fit in with TikTok and what TikTok thought was cool. So I'm avoiding this one, but I do like the inspo photos and like on Pinterest, this looks really cute and whatever. But I just think in real life, you would just feel underdressed or like just, like I said, like just, it wouldn't suit me it wouldn't make me feel like I looked cute that day um and that's not what I want to do so that's my reason okay I saw this is like I saw maybe in only one video or like I've just seen in like a couple Instagram photos but it's like the idea of big bags in different like interesting shapes like unexpected shapes just like you know just not your normal typical handbag or whatever and whilst I can appreciate this for the art it is because there are some really cool styles and stuff of this and like I love the inspo photos it's so impractical like not only would you get some looks wearing this any anywhere outside of London um where would you store this like I don't have the wardrobe space to be storing a massive bag that looks like a half moon crescent where where is that going and I just feel like, yeah, impractical and a bit too much of a statement piece for me. Maybe this is your vibe and maybe this is the trend for you and that is amazing. But it's a no from me. Oh, this next one honestly made me just re repulse, like, what, like shrivel a little when I saw it. And it's like mesh socks and mesh shoes for summer. Like, can you imagine how like sweaty and stinky your feet are getting? I'm sorry, it's a no. It's just not practical. It's just not, like, it's not cute to have stinky feet. Like, <laughs> it's not cute for your feet to smell, girl. Like, no. I just feel like they're trying to like evolve the trends so brands can capitalize it more and more. And ballet shoes started out as something that was legitimately cool. And then they're just trying to like, do what capitalism does and bring out something new every time so we have to have the latest version of it and just no I'm rejecting it no sorry next one another like quite big trend I'd say is the micro shorts you will not catch me wearing or buying I suppose a pair of these I think I have like a couple of black pairs for like working out and stuff which I feel like I could style quite cute if I eventually feel like jumping on this trend, like if I find it in a way, if I style it in a way that I feel comfortable in, but just in general, I feel like this trend would just make you feel so self-conscious unless you're like so confident in your skin and I love that for you. I'm not sure I'm there yet. So just personally, I think this will be a miss, but we never know. I'm not ruling it out. I'm certainly not buying into it. This kind of last one is less of like a spring trend and more just like a vibe I'm feeling in fashion and with fashion gullies right now 
and that's like just tightness do you know what i mean like i feel like the birth of skims has completely changed you know the way we all dress and it's all so tight and like restricting now and like bodysuits and you know and i just i want to move away from that i've been seeing like so many cool inspiration pics of people like drowning themselves in fabric or you know like just embracing like floaty silhouettes and whatever and i can just see so many spring trends this year that fit into the, like still fit into the, like the tight restrictive box we've put ourselves in with skims and i just want to break out of that so i guess i'm rejecting some of these like tight trends if that makes sense I think that makes sense in my mind, but again, I am on painkillers, so let me know if I'm making no sense at all. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, like it, comment. It's always nice to hear from you. Please subscribe if you like my channel and I will speak to you really soon. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.